up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is the QFA with the highly requested Kiana and That was your cue. My mom! Hello! Alright guys, so this is my mom. A lot of you have been requesting for her to be in vlogs, for you to see her. And now we're back here with the QFA. You guys submitted questions for me, for Kiana, for my mom, for all of us. It's going to be tons of fun. I can't wait to look at them. But before we get started, I need you guys to hit that subscribe button and to give this video a huge thumbs up. You know, I revealed what my mom looks like. I feel like you guys should give it a thumbs up. Also, the new makeup video where I did Kiana's makeup came out the other day. And in the video, I said that I would do Andrew's makeup if that video got to 250 likes. And it's only been a little over a day and it's over halfway. That's unbelievable. Thank you guys so much. But let's keep pushing. I want to do Andrew's makeup. I'm going to try to make him go in public with it or do something <laughs> funny. So, but without further ado, let's just get into these questions. All right, guys, so I've decided that because not a lot of questions were submitted for my mom and Kiana, I'm going to let them answer some of the questions you guys asked about me. And if they get something wrong, I'll, you know, correct them. But for the most part, they'll probably get it right. So I apologize if I mispronounce your name as always. Takadio asks, do you listen to Demi Lovato? No, I, I don't listen to Demi Lovato, but Kiana listens to Demi Lovato. <laughs> Michelle Hawaii asks, what did you think you were going to be when you grew up before YouTube? Love you, keep what you're doing, God bless. Uh, before YouTube, I wanted to be an astronomer and or visual effects artist. Still would love to be either of those, but I'm trying to pursue this YouTube and see what happens. It's tons of fun to entertain you guys, and yeah, thank you for your question. Do I like summer, autumn, winter, or spring? Summer. Yep. I'm a summer boy, but it, it's kind of ironic because I like summer, but I'm super white. The Anais has a couple other questions. Where do you see yourself in five years, and will you be collabing with other channels anytime soon? In five years, I hope to still be on YouTube entertaining you guys, or be branched off doing some other type of entertainment, something. Something where I can bring joy to people and make them laugh and smile and entertain the masses. And collabing with other channels, I would love to. I just, I don't want to go and collab with like random YouTubers that I have no idea who they are, you know, because I don't want anything to be sketchy. So I'd like to get to know people first before I collab, but I would love to do collab videos with some fans, with some hopefully more famous YouTubers, whatever it is. How would I react if I got a billion subscribers? What would you think I'd do? <laughs> Run around doing the happy dance. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Heat asks, Hi Alec, what do you do if you see the Ace Family again? Plus, every milestone, can you do something huge for us, like 100,000 subs? Can you do a giveaway or make merch for us? Alright Jake, so what would I do if I saw the Ace Family again? I would honestly go up to them and I would thank them first. Even though it's been like a month since they did that shout out, I would still thank them because it meant so much to me and I would show them, you know, like, oh, all these people that are following me and seeing my videos was helped in part because of you and I would just like to show them how thankful and show them the power that they kind of have and then I would just go into asking if there's any way that I can somehow keep in contact with them you know even if it's not like Instagram or phone maybe by email just so I can try to make videos with them or be in their videos or my videos or somehow like be a bridge between them and you guys I'd love to make a video for every milestone right now the next milestone I would want to make something for is 50,000 and then 100,000 like you said and then a million and so on Merch, I have no idea. That's, in my opinion, that's far off in the future, right? We don't even have a fan base name yet, but that is coming soon, so keep submitting your guys' ideas. But trust me, Jake, once those milestones do get hit, it will be crazy. Princess Rhea asks, what is my favorite song? That's a hard one. I'm gonna throw one out there. Really? Yeah. You found some? Yeah. <laughs> Billie Jean? No. Ah! <laughs> I, I don't know, it's just because I like so many different types of music, like pop, rap, instrumental, rock, stuff like that, so you'd have to try to narrow it down a little bit, and mm -hmm. in the next QFA, if you ask that question again, I'll try to answer it better. Gabriel Saucedo Sakito. Seven questions, alright? We're just going to run down the list. I'm not going to explain any of them, I'm just going to question, answer, question, answer. What was your school experience? It was pretty fun. Have you ever been bullied or became a bully? I was bullied throughout elementary school and middle school. Who's my favorite rapper? Probably Eminem. I know that's very generic, but Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do the Bean Boozle challenge? I don't know what the Bean Boozle challenge oh, I know is, what it is. Um, but I will look it up and Kiana will tell me and I'll do that. <laughs> do you have any talents? I have tons of talents. Probably my most hidden talent that not that many people know is I can pole dance. 
Uh, Very well. Very well. <laughs> will you have a fan mail P.O. box? I plan on it, so stay tuned for that. And what is my favorite smoothie? A citrus squeeze from Drama Juice, but sub the pineapple juice for pomegranate oh, juice. Okay. YouTube asks, can you do a reaction video? I would love to do reaction videos, it's just something has to happen for me to react to it. You know what I mean? Like maybe two YouTubers have beef or something, or... When, when the game show comes out that I hosted, I'll do a reaction video to that. Elizabeth Tebagia asks, did you know that Ace Family put you in their video when you bought a ticket? Yes. Well, you found out by a fan. Well, yes. You yeah. Found, yeah, fan. Yeah, I mean, like, I bought the ticket, and then a few days later, they had featured me in their video. Gabby Marie has two questions. What would you name your future boy or girl child, and what is your dream car? Future boy, I would love to name my boy Michael, and girl, Jackie. And my favorite dream car is a McLaren P1 that's very, like, out there because it's super expensive, but that's probably my gym car or an Audi R8. Okay, here we go. Here's actually questions for you guys. Oh, yay! All right, but first, there's a question for me. So, Ads D asks, Alec, what's the biggest lie you've ever told your mom? Uh oh, <laughs> this is gonna get you in trouble right now. <laughs> um, I had some friends come over one time when my parents weren't here, and we did a lot of stupid stuff. And I like lied about it to my mom because we wrecked some stuff in the house. You and did try very hard. Yeah, yeah I tried very hard, hard to try and cover it, it up. But, yeah. yeah, but okay. I, I got I got him. Kiana, what's Alex's most annoying habit when you're together? Going on his phone. I'm a person who loves like actually talking to people and I'm a very social person. And like Alec can just like play games on his phone or like text people and it just like drives me insane. Yeah. All right, mom. <laughs> <That's one. laughs> yes. What's the funniest or embarrassing thing? What's the most funniest or embarrassing thing Alec did when he was a kid? You're embarrassing. <laughs> Can't think of anything. No. Oh. Okay, I don't know if it's the funniest or most embarrassing because I'm have I'm so many things run through my head, but the most recent one is just yesterday, where he went out in the front yard of our cul-de-sac with all the neighbors in his underwear because his shorts were in one of the <laughs> one of the guys' That's cars. The they were gonna go play basketball, and his shorts were out there, so he got dressed in the middle of the street. So that's the kind of stuff. It's funny. <laughs> that is actually really good. All right. Thank you, Ads D, for those questions. Um, Andrea Juarez, sorry if I mispronounced the name, asks, if you were to pick one puppy, which one would you pick? A, if it was possible, like a mix between a German Shepherd and a Lab, because those are my two favorite dogs. Um, Mama D asks, can you let us know what fan names you like more? Give us an idea what you like, and we can try to think of more. Hopefully pick one soon. I don't want to give you guys any like hints for fan names because I want all of it to be a surprise so when you see like the top five and you guys can vote on it because I don't want to you know say the ones I like and then have some people feel left out that I didn't like theirs um, so just keep tight and wait for that name to come just think of any name and leave it down in the comment section and I always look at the comments and I always look at the names you guys submit so keep submitting them and hopefully the five will come. The NIS asks, would your girlfriend ever get her own YouTube channel? Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, Alex has been telling me that like a few of you guys have been asking if I would make my own YouTube channel. The only thing is, is I, I don't have a camera and I don't know how to edit and I don't know exactly what I would do. Um, I'm not like super like not wanting to do it. It's just I really don't know how I could do YouTube channel, do a YouTube channel. But I'm thinking about it. The Three Dancing Stars asks, have, Wait, have you ever hid something dirty from your mom? I don't know what you mean by dirty. Um, I mean, I'm, I don't really like, besides like those few things, I don't really hide anything. I'm an open book. No, surprisingly, he tells me everything. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that could possibly be. Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> Andrea Rodriguez asks, What cities slash countries have you traveled to? If so, which were your favorite ones? Also, how many kids would you like to have in the future? Cities, too many to name, so I'm just going to go countries. Obviously, America, it's where I live. Uh, Spain, Italy, and Peru. Italy was my favorite, by far, country-wise, to visit. Mm -hmm. um, 
Okay, if I had to pick a favorite city I've ever been to, probably Barcelona would be... It'd be tied between like Barcelona and Rome. Tied between those two. And I would love to have two kids in the future, three at most, but two is preferred. Okay, so question for my mom. How do you feel about me having a YouTube channel? I am so excited for him. He's been working on this on and off in different ways uh, for a, quite a while now. So I am so excited that this is taking off the way it has and he's so excited. So um, <laughs> nothing but happy for him. And in three words. And thank you to everybody. <laughs> and, in, and in three words, describe your son. <laughs> Only three? Only three. That's so hard. Caring, happy, easygoing. That's one word in my book. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And for Kiana, um, describe your ideal date and what's the one thing you love about your boyfriend. I'm a very simple person. Like, I'm easy to please. Um, so, honestly... An ideal date for me is like even just going to the movies, just hanging out, even making dinner at home, stuff like that. Like I'm really like simple. And then what was the second question? What's one thing you love about me? Oh, one thing. See, that's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, duh. Um, he has amazing patience and I have no patience whatsoever. There's times where we'd be like fighting and something, he'll just sit there and listen to me and just like go on and on and on and on. Um, he's just very patient with my nephews, with my niece, just with everyone, and I love that about him. Jessica Reed asks, what are your biggest pet peeves about each other? Biggest pet peeve about Kiana oh, no. <laughs> is probably just her lack of patience. Yeah. Just because you're, she's someone who's like very quick on everything, and like I'm someone who's like a lot like more chill. Chill, definitely. Um, but I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> and my biggest pet peeve about my mom constantly nags me about every like every little thing it's just did you do this did you clean your room did you take out the trash there's there's a coffee cup in your room like every, to the down to the smallest thing oh there's a pencil on your phone it's like you nag me about everything oh yeah he's stubborn he's really stubborn all right and your biggest pet peeve about me funny oh, you should Jesus say that Christ. Christ. <laughs> oh god here we go funny that your pet peeve is that because my pet peeve is the exact same thing i feel like maybe i wouldn't be so nagging if actually i asked one time and it was done one time but if it takes five times to get the right, why, why did done, i why did i bring you on here <laughs> It's like right. the chicken and the egg. <laughs> okay. So, Rosa Gonzalez asks, uh, Mom, what was the most embarrassing thing he did in public as a child? Oh, you don't want me to say this. Just say it. Picking his nose everywhere, in front of anybody, all day, <laughs> anytime. So true. There you go. <laughs> all right. Kiana, what were you thinking about on your guys' first date? What was our, our like our actual date? Like, what was our first date? What were you saying? Cause I, we, well, we met in Italy, so we hung out like all the time. So I was already really super comfortable. It's not like we just met and then he took me out on a date. I knew him, like, for a very long time until we actually started dating. So I don't know. That's a kind of hard, cause like just for our history, it's kind of hard to answer. Stephanie Rodriguez asks, my question is, what is your goal in life or what is your dream to do in life? My goal in life is to live out my dream, which is to entertain people. I mean, honestly, guys, I encourage you, if you want to start a YouTube channel, start it. Because it's such a good feeling knowing that you create something that you like and putting it out there and it can bring joy to people. There's some YouTubers who get millions of views. There's some YouTubers who get 20 views. And then there's some YouTubers like me who vary between like a few hundred or a few thousand. And even if I only got one view and I knew that I was entertaining one person, it would bring the same smile to my face as if I was entertaining every single person in the world. I mean, it's it's an unbelievable feeling. So, I my dream, my goal in life is to live out my dream, which is to entertain you guys and hopefully millions of other people. Jess Zamudio asks, "Do you want another tattoo? If yes, what and where?" Okay, I know of one. Okay. Okay, so, <laughs> so one of them, he wants this bracelet right here, which is pink ribbons for my mom's breast cancer, and elephants, which is my favorite animal, and he wants to get that in a, brace, in a ring around. 
Okay. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, he already has, sorry, I'm like totally using your own. He already has this done. He actually wants a full sleeve. Um, he just hasn't had the money to get Shout it. Shout out to Cody Duran at LA. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he wants it completely covered. And I know for a fact that he wants a Star Wars theme, like around here, um, of TIE Fighters. Is that what's called? Yeah. Well, okay, so I'm going to have, I know it's kind of hard, so I'm just going to stand up and show. So. Spoiler alert, because one day I'll get this and you guys will see it, but I want like a forest to wrap around right here, and then a single truffalo tree from the Lorax, and then there's going to be like more blue sky fading up, and then there's going to be an owl's face like blending into space right here, and then there's going to be just like a whole bunch of space and galaxy stuff, and then I, I'm thinking about having the infinity stones from Marvel, like right here or something like that, and then up on my shoulder, I'm gonna have the Death Star, and then like two little Tie Fighters like flying up to it. So that's for my full sleeve, and then I plan on getting like once I have kids, I'm gonna get their names somewhere. And so each of the pieces that he mentioned it has a meaning with someone in his life yeah. or for himself. Yeah, so, so it's not all random. Yeah, well, they sound random to you. Yeah, for him, <laughs> and he's trying to blend a lot of people in yeah. one. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna add more <laughs> stuff in there as it comes to me, but that's just like the general outline for it now. Mm -hmm. Aileen Cruz asks, if I could have any pet, what would it be? And like, I'm assuming you mean any animal. What would it be? See if either of you knows. I'm gonna go with you first. Animal, like yeah, like not any. Like a Part like an actual pet, like wild. Well, because well, because yeah. they have a wolf emoji in here, so I'm assuming that means anything. Like not any, legal? yeah, it doesn't have to be domes domestic. Uh, you only get one guess. Um, mm -hmm. I don't even know. Jaguar? No. Ah. Um, cheetah. Yep. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, I would have that. I would, I would have a pet cheetah so I could ride it around everywhere. Although I know I would like crush it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Dorado7354 asks, who did you go to Peru with? Honestly, I only knew two people going on the trip, Ray and my old history teacher, Mr. Nadal. So the rest were just a whole bunch of high school kids that I had no idea. Drea Rodriguez asks, do you speak any other languages? Not speak. Do you speak any other languages? Is that for me? I'm just saying, I'm asking for all of us. Oh. Uh, no, I mean, I can understand a little bit of stuff here and there, but I don't speak anything fluently other than English, no. <laughs> um, Kiana and I both know sign language. Yeah, I'm not completely fluent, but I'm like pretty much there. Yeah. Like I'm able to communicate with deaf people. What is my mom's age? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to answer if you Never don't Never ask a woman her age. <laughs> I don't care, it's just a number. Doesn't bother me. Positive, positive You're not that old. So are you gonna say? Twenty five. Oh yeah. Fifty two. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eat Cookie Monster asks, "What was my first phone?" My first phone was a Firefly when I was in third grade. It could only call my mom, That's my dad, right. and the police. And I got it when I was at summer camp. Well, it wasn't like a camp. It was just like you would go there for the day and then come home. But we had lockers, and I had put it in my locker, and someone stole it the day I got it, so. Wow. Yeah. This is a question for everybody. What is your biggest fear? By the way, I love your videos. Well, thank you, Diamond Ag 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 Aguiar. Aguiar. I'm terrified of getting sick, terrified of seeing people get sick, hearing it, smelling it, everything. I, I, I can't. I get anxiety. My biggest fear is, and it's a reoccurring nightmare, I guess you would say, is falling and breaking my front teeth. Don't ask that's, me why, but that's not as I've had that dream so many times and every huh. time I do a little stumble, which I do a lot, then I think I'm gonna fall and break my teeth. That's so, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and my biggest fear is just not being, it's like honestly, I don't wanna be the stereotype, oh, I don't have any fears, but my biggest fear is just not being able to do what I love to have to do, like having to go through life, being forced to do a job I don't wanna do or forced to, be pressed into something I don't want to do. Like I want to live my life how I want to live it and be happy with it. And yeah, so my biggest fear is just not being able to live out my dream and not being able to be myself. All right guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you guys like the idea of having my mom and Kiana or just like guest stars in the QFAs, let me know down in the comment section if you guys want to see anyone else. I'll leave a comment on this video. Reply to that if you want to see someone else, questions, 
um, like questions for the next QFA. I think I might wait a little bit longer than a week next time, maybe just like an extra day or two just to give it a little more time for questions. I don't know, we'll see what happens with that. But make sure you guys click that subscribe button so you know when what videos are coming out. The pop-up wars are on the way. I've gotten everyone who's gonna join them. Now we just have to go buy them and find a place to do it and it's gonna be tons of fun, tons of pain, which doesn't sound appealing, but it's gonna be amazing. I need you guys to give me a huge thumbs up for this video. I got on my mom, it was her first one. Thank you for asking me. Of course. And supporting <laughs> him, thank you. <laughs> and you know, Kiana's in like all of them, so yeah, it's just old news. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, remember the Ace Family Basketball event is coming out later this month and I'm gonna vlog there and I can't wait to bring that to you guys because I know a lot of you didn't get a go and hopefully you can live through my eyes and enjoy it. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.